Hey, hey, hey. Before you continue watching, you, you should you should click the like button and share the video and comment what you what made you become furry. You, do that. You should Ow! Oh god. The flamingo's trying to kill me. Oh Jesus. Come here, buddy. Okay. Hey everyone. My name is Oren. And today I'm gonna talk about cartoons I saw as a kid that Aided me in becoming a furry! I never said whether or not that was a good thing. This isn't in any order, but I'll put numbers anyway, because... I'm not sure. It just keeps things uh, in order. Numerical order. Anyway, I'd love to see what shows, movies, or video games awaken the furry inside of you. Ooh, that was a gay thing to say, even for me. Number five. I am Weasel. I am Weasel. I am Weasel. I am Weasel. Firstly, Weasel can read me a bedtime story at any time. Fellow doctors, I have invited you to witness a revolution in surgical techniques. Michael Dorn did a fantastic job of portraying a smart yet condescending Weasel, accompanied by I.R. Baboon, who was voiced by Charlie Adler. The series was created by Dave Feist, whose filmography reads like a Ian Malcolm quote from The Lost World. Oh yeah, ooh, ah, that's how it always starts. But then later there's running and, and screaming. Cartoons featuring animals or characters that you could, uh, you call human if you're wasted enough, always caught my eye. The slapstick and overall insane vibe this show had gripped me. Some of these episodes were absolutely mental. From going inside a red guy who butt walks, ending up growing to normal size in his head, Ooh, I feel groovy, doctor. to stench, to nipples, man this show had lots of butt fart and nipple jokes. That explains the creator of this channel quite well actually. To be fair, before filming this, I watched an episode of I Am Weasel, and this moment had me in hysterics. Hey, who said that? Just what do you think you're doing here? Just doing the butt walk in someone's mind. Is it a crime? Why, yes it is. According to my calculations, the reason Earl can't dream is because he has a 212-pound man in his head. <laughs> I am 190 if I'm a day. I'd butt walk everywhere if I could. My butt would be thick as a roo's tail after a while. Also, Weasel in a booster seat is adorable and a great sight gag. Special mention, Ren and Stimpy. Oh, yeah, nah, 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 yeah, nah, that show was fucked. I loved every second of it. Enough said. Number four. Why you like this, Frederick the Flamingo? Cat dog. Alone in the world with a little cat dog. Let's get one thing out of the way. Cat is voiced by Tom Kenny, who's also acted in... I'm not reading all of that. It's like Steve Blum or Troy Baker. You may not know their names, but you have heard their voice, and probably a lot. Anyhow, this show showcases a fun-loving pooch attached uh, at the butt, I don't know, to a serious cat in a house that looks like this. I want a house like that. I could build one in Minecraft, but it usually ends up as a skull with flames on the top of it whilst vomiting lava or a big penis house. Cartoons back in the late 90s, early 2000s had such personality that a single image or the voice of the character would let you know exactly what they're about. It's just a shame that the custom buildings in this show came down to main characters or sections that some episodes were based in. Most of it was just shit we've already seen. Just regular buildings. This isn't Zootopia. I know I said Zootopia, calm down. And of course, some of these episodes were bat shit insane. This is a common thread throughout this list. Special mention! Teacher's Pet. I was reminded of this show on Twitter, and thanks to this show and almost every other show on this list, um, well, that explains some of the fetishes like transformation and hypno. <laughs> anyway, a stylistic and bollocks to the wall weird show. Just like this channel. 
and the fandom. Ooh, foreshadowing. Number three, Courage the Cowardly Dog. We interrupt this program to bring you Courage the Cowardly Dog Show, starring Courage the Cowardly Dog. A purple dog in the desert with a nice old lady and this prick. Stupid dog, you made me look bad. <laughs> I love Courage and always tried to draw him as a kid. The dark vibe of this show with its stylistic approach to animation is stuck with me to this very day. Watching this show now can strike pretty deep. This wild and weird show, like all the rest on this list, really helped me appreciate the weird and wild fandoms out there, such as the furry fandom. And it gave us this line. There's no such thing as perfect. Huh? You're beautiful as you are, Courage. With all your imperfections, you can do anything. <gasps> Game of Thrones wishes it had this final episode. Hell, if they just ended the show with this episode, it would have been better than what we got. Also, go ahead and watch in-depth videos about this show on you here on YouTube, and <laughs> they're fascinating too. Seriously, go look them up. They're great. I'll leave some in the description below if I remember. Special mention: Rocco's Modern Life. Whilst I didn't enjoy the movie, uh, a bit too political and on the nose for my liking. I, I appreciate the message it sent out, but is yeah. Anyway, once more. Stylistic to a fault and full of character. Animal characters. Why do I even have you here? You wanted a big fluffy fox to hug and you were sad and lonely and that you really needed me here. Okay. Number two, the angry beavers. <laughs> Now I adore this show so much. I may have a separate video down the track about it depending on how trash I am at writing longer videos and deep subjects and all this kind of stuff, real in-depth reviews, etc. But I love these characters. I adore the humor and the art style. It's burned into my memory. I can't express how much I love this show. Do yourself a favor. Watch it somehow. Anywhere. Please. The offbeat comedy, voice talent, and character designs always drew me in, and I just had to watch every adventure with these two beavers. Okay, number one, Pokemon. Okay, so this seems to be quite common amongst furries that this show will help them become a furry. We like the human characters of the show, we like playing the game, but I mean, being a Pokemon, hell yes. The idea of being this cool design character with powers and such in a world of Pokemon is fascinating. And like shows such as Star Trek or hey a movie like Zootopia, it's fun to think of stories based upon this series, making your own characters and such. What more can I say? There are hundreds of videos on YouTube about this show. I don't have much new stuff to add. Like what Pokemon would I be? I may make a video down the road cause I have a few Pokemon I'd love to be. <laughs> <sighs> Detective Pikachu sucked Psyduck's nuts. And that ending? Humans put into their Pokemon like weird mind rape? I'd so be a growl, and I would want to stay that way. Fuck going back, breathe fire for God's sake, and look adorable! I hope you enjoyed this list. Did you enjoy it? Tell me you enjoyed it. I'm panicking! <sighs> oh, jeez. Oh. Anyhow, like, share, subscribe, and please tell me what helped you become a furry. I'm Orin the Fox, and I'll see you next time.